I'm retracing Badley's winter route in February. Now, February is normally the coldest month of the year, but the contrast in the weather conditions couldn't be greater. Whereas Badley experienced a winter wonderland, I've got rain and incredibly mild conditions. So mild, in fact, they're actually forecast to get up to 12 degrees today. So what's happened? What's happened to all the snow and ice that was going to transform the highlands into a winter playground? To find out why the weather seems to have taken a wrong so turn, I'm falling in step yeah, with I'm climate expert by. Ian Cameron. If you look at the period from the Victorian age, actually going back the way a couple of hundred years to a, a term that we call the, the Little Ice Age, the winters were undoubtedly colder and undoubtedly snowier and lasted longer. I mean, it's incredible. There's, there's an account by a chap called Thomas Thornton. He was walking in the Cairngorms in uh, 1786 and he was taking his friends, very well healed, they were taking his friends for a picnic. Right. And uh, it was a beautiful summer's day, 6th of August. They decided it would be more civilised if they went uh, into Glenfeshi and went for a little stroll there. So as they were walking up, not at a particularly great at altitude, they found a snowdrift that they deposited their champagne in <laughs> to cool it for lunch. Brilliant. You know, so that's in August, uh -huh. I know, and that's exceptional. <laughs> As part of his ongoing research into the Scottish winter, Ian has been surveying long-lasting snow patches in the mountains for several years. These summer snow patches are important indicators of climate change. Now, in 1933, something happened which hadn't happened since 1829, and that all snow had vanished in Scotland. That's the first time it had been known. It was so... Um, uh, interesting a subject and uh, it was so unusual that someone actually wrote a letter to the Times. It's a shock horror, no snow. Headline stuff, <laughs> someone from the right. Scottish Mountaineering Club wrote a letter to the Times to say that for the first time in living memory all snow has vanished from Scotland and since that time it's disappeared an additional four times. 1959, uh -huh. 1996, 2003 and then 2006. So the rate of disappearance and the frequency of disappearance is accelerating. Any sense of what might happen next winter, do you think? You know, we might get some snow next winter, we can look forward to putting our skis back on? Oh, I think so. I think that we will we'll have snow for, for a while yet. You know, people who've written uh, the, the Scottish winter offer, I think, are a little bit premature. If there's one thing we can be certain about, about the Scottish winter, is it's unpredictable. It certainly is unpredictable. I know that for a fact for this winter. Mm -hmm.